Hi, and welcome to My Art Pixie. Today I am working on a commission piece for a friend. She wanted her Nana's recipe on 8x10 watercolor paper. Her request was to have all of the ingredients and tools to the recipe illustrated. And then I copied her Nana's handwriting as best I could. And it was so much fun and I enjoyed painting each illustration. As I work on her piece, let's talk about 2023 and looking forward to a new year. I don't know about you, but I have always loved January. It is the excitement of a new year and the unknown possibilities and goals set out before me that really get me thinking about what's to come. In 2023, my word for the year is focus. Within my art business, I plan to focus on my artwork. It seems obvious for an artist to focus on her artwork. However, I find it often times that I get distracted by lots of ideas. My multi-passionate art ideas get the best of me and I never get to do what I truly want to do. I want to create more artwork and work towards bigger goals by focusing on the tasks at hand, taking on projects and bite-sized pieces to create larger works of art a collection, or even a children's book of my own. Having illustrated children's books for others, I want to create my own stories and tell those stories through pictures. So after much thought, I came up with my top three for the year of 2023. I will start by illustrating local buildings each month with my monthly reset. This will end with 12 or more buildings that will end up on a larger map of the town. Each month I will illustrate one to two buildings. This is a project in collaboration with a local Airbnb. They want to add a map to their decor for visitors to get around town easily. As you may know, I live in the heart of Amish country. Amish run shops and bakeries are unique places that I can illustrate near where I live and work. I am excited to finally get started on this project. I've been talking about it for a while now. I will continue my art and devotion series as I work through Ellie Holcomb's devotional book. I struggled with what art to focus on when I was thinking about what to do alongside this devotional. I started out this month with a seasonal piece. However, I think I'm going to focus on florals for this project, um, but that could change throughout the year. My idea is to turn the illustrations into prints and maybe stickers for my Etsy shop. And last, I want to create works from stories about my children. I have started a journal for each of them in hopes to capture moments of time with these stories. Being a mom is the hardest yet most rewarding thing I have ever done. As I watch them grow into young adults, I am reminded how quickly time goes by. It would be great to turn these into children's books sometime in the future, but I just want to capture the moments within my artwork for now. I have always been a forward-thinking person. I get lost in the tomorrow and I have a hard time resting in the now. This is a good trait to have when thinking about the possibilities to come in 2023. It helps me with my creativity and projects as I look forward and focus on producing art for my art business. I hope you will join me 
throughout the year as I put these top three in motion. Thanks for watching as I put together this recipe card. It was really fun to do and my friend is going to give it away as a Christmas gift. Sometimes I wish I could be there to watch them open it. I hope that they enjoy it as much as I enjoyed illustrating and painting it. Until next time, bye!